We are building an army. Thank you, Emerald Dragon. There's been a lot of gift subs over this weekend. Very much appreciated. Much love to the Emerald Dragon again. All aboard the hype train. That's right, Wayne. You let you tell them. You have seen some coupons, coupons for them? Hmm. You just throw them away. Aren't you supposed to tell me? It does exist. You work there for one day. Just tell me of every new pizza place you discover, mod wife. No. All right. Uh, well, we got to hope this volcanic winter is going to wrap up soon. This is the dankest dungeon. Uh, Doug, thank you for the 420 dank bits. The dankest dungeon bits. A generous Conquer story. initial 300. Thank you guys for all the bits. Very much appreciated. All aboard the hype train. A generous bestowal. They're good. Sav, thank you for another 100 bits. Sav. Choo choo, mother. Like, what does Adam actually say when he when he bleeps himself out? Because I doubt it's a bad word. I doubt it's a bad word. Steal yourself. We are building an <laughs> Waffles. Waffles. Thank you for the gift subs as well. Five gift subs to Bobby Lightweight. I just saw that one. Dr. Fate, Coco, Joker. Shade of Grey. Thank you, Waffles. All right, all right. Uh, I think we might, we might sacrifice. Yeah, we're gonna sacrifice him. We don't need him. I mean, he's got some good stuff, guys, but. All right. All right. Rest the slave mule. He did his purpose. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Here we go. Oh, what? Only 68%. Oh, uh, so close to being a nice execution. Conquer, thank you for the five gift subs also. Thank you, Conquer. 69% level three hype train. Mother, he says mother bunny. Mother. All right, here we go. That's right. Get the smoke going. Satisfying. It was a good enough execution. Blood didn't even reach the walls. Okay, we can now make our own shield belts. We need to make one of those. Uh, I really want to get to ground penetrating scanner before we run out of our own materials. Uh, so we're going to grab deep drilling next. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. You guys are building army. What's going on this weekend? Ah, uh, Buster Chubnuts. Chubnuts, thank you for the 10 gift subs. 10 gift subs. Thank you, Chubnuts. Uh, as always, much love to the nuts. Much love to the nuts. More birthday subs. Is it everyone's birthday today? Bruno pizza is just not for you and it never will be. Our modest fellowship and I don't know how you eat pizza with no Praise tomato sauce on it. What do you use instead? I swear mayonnaise. Much love to the nuts. <laughs> Thanks for the quotes. Uh, Lucky Sniper. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Sniper. Thank you for using that here. Cal Sam is a tier one sub. Very much appreciated. I'm going to do some hunting. I have to do some hunting. Just wait until Granny gets a hold of those nuts. I mean, gets a hold of that quote. <laughs> is that a threat? You just wait until Granny gets a hold of them nuts. All right. Let's uh, let's bring that in. Bring that in. Uh, there we go. I think I remembered. Okay. You know what fruit? I know. I'm just joking with you. You know what I'm talking about. And I'm what? Dang, Granny. Uh, Phil has summoned Granny. Let's see what Granny has to say for real. All right. All right, Phil. Let's see for real. For real, Phil. Hey, Christopher, can you slaughter this rhino in our living room? Thanks. 
She likes almonds. She likes almonds. That's it. Almonds. Volcanic winter for eight days. Volcanic winter is actually a major event, right? Can't remember. Or maybe it's a world event. He will join us or die. I think it's a world event. Il Maligno. Here with the gift sub to Glynn. Thank you, Maligno. I think when I see your name, I think I'm missing no. I'm missing no. Missing number from Pokemon. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the gift sub. All right. So we want to get machining table. Throw it in here. I need a bit more steel. Uh, and some more components. Let's get this steel out here. Expand the work area to cover that. Okay. All right. Don't use shelves for wealth reasons. I use shelves when it matters. So right now, there's no reason for me to use shelves, like, other than right here by the stove. I'm just not using them. Shelves are such low wealth that it doesn't matter that much for wealth. Um, and room impressiveness is not really going to change with shelves in here right now very much. We're still going to be at very impressive. There's just not a reason. And, you know, if they end up making like masterwork shelves or something like that, I have to then destroy them or rebuild them if I want to manage it for wealth. But right now, I'm just using shelves in the places where it really matters that we use them, but it doesn't matter too much right now. Aiming for a nice percent again. Waffles, think of the 100 additional bits trying to get to the nice percentage. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I will use a lot of shelves in this run eventually, but and I use them I use them a lot. A kind gesture. But at first I only use them where it makes sense. Shells for tile economy only, pretty much, yeah. Waffles trying hard. Waffles like with the 33 bits. He will join us or die. Thanks, Waffles. Master. And uh Conker, thank you for another gift sub. Thank you, Conker. <laughs> trying to get that percentage just right. Trying to figure out the algorithm for what gives what percentage to a hype train on Twitch. Hmm. I need four more percent. How many bits is that? All right, we're gonna make a shield belt. I went right down to the EMP, but we can't do that. So it's unfortunate. We have no one that's crafting level six. He will join us or die, master. Okay, um, hmm. we can do something about that, but I got to decide how I want to do it. Prisoner Stewart's. Kim! What? Giving a tier two sub uh, to Pika Dura, I'm going to go with. And Pickle Rancher, thank you for the tier three subscription. Pickle Rancher, thank you for that. And a tier two gift sub. Thank you, Kim, and thank you, Pickle. Yeah, crazy this weekend, but it's the good kind of crazy, so it's all right. It's appreciated. Um, does it say no one's hit 20? Let me refresh it. I refresh it. I might have to refresh it on the sponsors in though. We'll see. Yeah, I'll check at the end of the stream either way. Um, so we need someone high enough to craft this. Our closest person is We're at twelve hundred raid points. Oh god. That's a good thing it's a Manhunter event. I was afraid about having that this many prisoners and stuff and uh, slaves. Make sure it's counted. Yeah, yeah. I really, I, I don't have to check. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's numbers that I complete the tutorial. I'll, I'll have to check with him. That actually makes me wonder about something. I'll have to check after the stream. Hmm. 1200 rate points is nuts. 
I have a mod now that shows the amount of raid points because everyone always asks me like, how many raid points do you think you're at? Do you think, how close are you to raid cap do you think? So I just got that just to show. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of some of these slaves. I think Blim's time might be at an end after he does a little bit more mining. 1200 raid points are mostly from just having more pawns, yeah. That's mostly where it's from right now. How much beauty are jade fences? Uh, jade fences. So the reason why he makes fences over walls is because it's more uh, material efficient for the beauty. So a jade fence is 10 beauty for a single piece of jade. If you use a wall instead, a wall takes five, right? Wall takes five and is also 10 beauty. So 10 beauty, whether it's a fence or a wall. And uh, the seven you were seeing was the beauty here stat, basically, which is different, but. Yeah. So it's an easy way to get some impressiveness for next to nothing. These will mo mostly have scar. This was mass insanity or? Oh, this is mass insanity. We should kill these for meat. I was thinking uh, Manhunter. Never mind. Mass and Sand. That's why it's showing 1200, because it was just that many Mufflo on the map. So we might not be at 1200 raid points. Okay, we're going to let a couple of these in. That'll give us some food. Let's give you another kill on that so you get the mood. Okay. Where's this run? We have a barracks for the slaves. Yeah. Okay, let them get healed up. Uh, there's a muffalo that's by itself. Let's go grab that one. It's no longer by itself. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to turn this off for now. Turn one of these off right now. Too. Melee hunting. Friends over yet, but it's easier to make a few pawns happy the rooms. Yeah, yeah, we don't need we don't need the barracks for the as our pawn count of the melee pawns grow, we'll end up eventually going that route, but not yet. So Blim, I'm sorry, you're probably gonna get sacrificed soon. No hard feelings. We'll see. We'll see what the next Cassandra raid is. But if we need to throw someone into the meat grinder to get kidnapped, blame your high on the list. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm the I'm I'm the slave that's been here the longest. Yeah, but you're like half a person. You're like half a person. So we really should divide your time in half. You know, it's just it's fair. Do I miss the no walls run? Not at all. No, I don't. <laughs> it was it was a fun novel run, you know, but I don't really miss it. Fun Vin. All right, let's get this turn back on. Okay, so how do I want to go about this? I think at the crafting spot, I'm going to set up to. 
We could actually set up to make a harp. So what is the skill needed for a harp? Let's see. And then we have go fast boots do this. And then we're like, hey, prioritize this crafting. Wait, not, not boots. Sorry. Um. I don't know. Okay. okay. Could do. Cri we actually make it on Christopher. Thing is, Christopher has great memory. So if he gets to 10, he's good. And he's a, a main pawn, right? He has a lot of other stuff that he needs to be doing. Go fast boots is not going to be in the colony forever. Maybe we do that on Christopher. So let's switch this over. Put it on Christopher. And then, so when he works on this, he should be getting experience. We need to get him up to level six at least. So. There we go. Pretty good experience. And we can just cancel it when he's close to being done. I think that should be good. Just keep an eye on him. Slay beds, keep them warm. <laughs> yeah, warm, that's the word. Will I redo the no walls with Cassandra at some point? Yeah, probably, probably. Are Cherry Defense's walls? Uh, thank you, Pocahontas. Glad you enjoyed the stream. How does biotech affect your melee only run compared to the previous one? So the previous melee only run was much harder than this will be, bar none. So biotech allows us to get genes that make us actual like melee gods, right? We're really good. And that's why we put some other themed stuff in here to make it a little bit harder. This run is for fun though. I don't think it's going to be as hard as the other one. But then again, I'm going to do higher wealth in this one. So we're going to go high wealth and get max size raids. So with the addition of ideology and biotech, I believe this melee run will be easier than the one I did before those two existed. Our genes walls. Uh, we don't. We do have the wall gene in this one, yeah. But it's called robust. Robust. A robust spawns walls. Yes, yes they are. Yes they are. All right, production. I'm going to go ahead and grab a um, electric tailor. We can actually turn the electricity part off on it, but I want to go ahead and start out as electric. Love this run. Yeah, it's been fun so far. Yeah, yesterday was exceptionally fun. And uh, it's just, a, it's been a silly run. Yeah, there's been a lot of crazy things that have happened. Yeah. You can melee pause, just one shot everything. Hang around the map so fast. One shot other unarmored pawns in. Robust has a brick tower as an icon, so it counts as a wall. That's right. That is correct. Chat voice is spot on. <laughs> Hey, that's not what we sound like. Not all of you. I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking to that other, that other one. That other one. Not you. Not you specifically. You definitely don't sound that way. Hey, he's talking to me. Wait a minute. How are these rooms now? Mediocre. Good. Oh, crap. I didn't keep a close eye. He made the harp. Why, God, why? Destroy it. Make another one. How much experience did you get from that? You started at about what? Two something? You got a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah, you. You. That is how I sound. <laughs> Alright, with Tailing Bench, we're going to turn off power to that. And I'm going to go ahead and set up some clothing rules. Um, we're going to go ahead and do... Button down shirt. Um... Welcome back. And Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Mm, I'm just going to duster this time. I, think. I don't know. Cape, capes, capes have the exact same stats as dusters. They just take longer to make. Now nah, we're going to do duster because we're uh, we're spike core, so we want those spikes. Want those spikes? 
All right, so what we're going to do here, I'm actually going to turn off human leather because I don't want to micromanage it, and we're using that for trade right now. Humane, humane leather. So we're going to do until we have X. We're going to set X as 1. We're going to put this on 50, 1% or better. Um, actually, let's do... Yeah. Yeah, 51% or better, normal or better. Um, and we're gonna be we're just gonna allow them to make it out anything right now. We're gonna unsuspend that. Do until we have X. X is one. Fifty-one percent, normal or better. Turn off humane leather. You can uh you can finesse this a little bit if you want. There's some other other things you can do, but basically what I'm doing is I'm making it so that we'll never have to worry about the tattered um debuff or anything like that. Whoops. There we go. They will research benches for power. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, or at least one of them while Christopher's working on that. We'll leave the other one for uh, for Lumberjack. All right. So grabbing the train is done. Um, We definitely want to get transport pods and hospital bed. So let's just get the transport pod. And let's make a deep drill. All right, we gotta be careful about dug too deep in this run. Dug too deep is actually scarier in this run because we are melee only. So we won't be able to outrange them. I might wanna make a little building around so the bugs come out in single file once the dug too deep spawns. So we'll have to uh, have to keep an eye on that. But I basically want to make this before we run ourselves out of steel and components. So even if we don't use it right now, I wanna just get it get it crafted. Um, let's let him work on the clothing first. Oh, whoops. There we go. Sword roaches are scary. What wealth level does it start to become worrisome for early game tribals? Free gun manufacturing? Are, what difficulty are you playing on? Like, what percentage? And then I can give you a, a, a relatively close I idea. Uh, Tina Arena, welcome in. Tina Arena. Any more and more of Crusader Kings? You have two pawns, which are sisters, stepmothers, and stepdaughters to each other. <laughs> okay. Okay, good winter. 11 days. You're on 500%. So if you still have five pawns, once you get to in the 20s of thousands, you can actually get some kind of scary raids. So even at like 25 to 30,000, you can get some pretty scary like um, uh, sieges and met clusters and stuff like that. It doesn't take very long at 5% with five starting colonists. Yeah, raids can start getting kind of crazy to handle. Uh, I strongly suggest making some great bows early as if you don't get like some early guns, make some great bows. They're really great at really great great bows really good at outranging a lot of the enemies that you could get including outranging um like some sieges and pulling them uh and things like that so why are we stocking up on packs of rival meals just to use meat before it goes bad so kind of like how i usually do with uh pemmican when i'm doing it with packs of rival meals does Wealth Independent in normal mode have the same raid point cap? It does, yep. They do. Wealth Independent just gets the raid point cap based on if you're playing at 100% on the years that you set. So for instance, if you're playing on 100% difficulty and you do Wealth Independent mode, and you set it for 10 years, you will get raid points divided up through that period. But when you get to the 10 year mark, you'll have 10,000 raid points. Great bows are great. Stay below like 20k while you get your research done and get some guns and stuff for best result. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I am going to um, turn that off. Then I want to get uh, a scanner. Hmm. Um. 
where am I going to want to put these eventually? So we're going to dry that out at some point. So that will be the base. We'll probably end up doing a lot of hydroponics. Hydroponics will probably be down here. So feels relatively safe to put these up in this area. The green guys is a mod or one of the new races. It's not a mod and it's not one of the new races, but it is a biotech thing. In biotech, you can choose your xenotype skin color and we just chose green. Yeah. They're melee, so they're kind of like orcish. They're orc adjacent. They're hulk adjacent. It depends on which one. But no, it's not a mod. No, I don't I don't really use many mods. You do exclamation mods, but basically no pause and uh, no pause and camera plus is about it. Oh, uh, we still didn't get those made in time. Whoops. Whoops, I should have just stored them outside. Yeah, we won't have a kill box yet. Melee only, no real kill box yet. Yeah, it's crazy you got that, Mage, honestly. I'll have to look at her. She might be... You might be better off getting her to six stars before Kale... I'll have to look, or you can just ask in the raid channel on Discord. But yeah, you got super lucky with that. <laughs> Crazy lucky. The world is my kill box. They always rebelled at the worst possible times. Yeah, I am a little bit worried about that. Yeah. They can even rebel at max suppression, which is annoying. Oh, it's friggin' volcanic winter. 13 days. It can last up to 40. Average is 20. Turn that off for now. So next step will be to grab or to get the multi analyzer done. All right, let's go ahead and get that. Screw the hospital beds. The world is my kill box. The dusty compounds. Yeah, I'm gonna trash that one. Wait on a different. Wait on a different one. Boy, that volcanic winter is really putting us behind. I don't even want to do more festivals in case we get a join that we want. Am I going to put the bondage gear on the slaves? I probably will at some point, yeah. The bondage gear. Thought they fixed the ideology closet in a hot patch? No. Can the 25 room tile be ignored? No. Here, I'll, I'll explain it again. But there's like 10 different size one altars. And each one has different requirements. So when you make your ideology, you have to keep deleting the altar and adding a new one until you get the one with the requirements that only needs all floor and no workstations, no beds. There's all kinds of them. There's one that needs a certain impressiveness. There's one that needs... Uh, columns, there's one that needs room size, there's one, you know, and, and it, they can be, uh, there can be altars with combinations of those. So you need to re-roll it until you get the one that only says floored, no workstation, no beds. Royal Tribute Collector. Another transport pod crash. Yeah, I get the right generation of it. Yeah, yeah. Industrious, too smart level 10 crafter oh uh, yeah let's save him let's save him
doing good. Um. Wow, Blim, you, that's your replacement. That's your replacement. Christopher, arrest them. Convert. Ah, uh, use converts. He's asleep. Wake him up. Sure, happy. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for this run, unfortunately. No side casting and no uh, no range weapons. So, but yeah. Hey, crafting level five. Not that it matters here soon. Ambrosia. Give slaves to the royal collector? No. I don't have a pawn that I want to make royal yet. No. I don't have the pawn I want to do that to. 68%. Nice. You know, you had to reroll the altars to get that. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to do the altar closet, you do. 68. That was almost a nice one. Almost. Almost. Nice minus one. Down to 57% already. Nice. Gift from the Empire. It gave us a shade cone. Empire's throwing shade. We will remember this. The game for years now. 5% no pause is entirely different beast. It's kicking your butt. All these little meta tricks are huge for making it work. Yeah, I mean... I I like playing that way. That's the way I prefer playing and what I prefer watching as well. But I still get people that come in the comments sometimes and tell me that uh, no pause doesn't make the game any harder and that it's the same as playing on 1X. Yep. It is. Try it out. Well, you can confirm it. You can confirm it lies now that you've tried it yeah yeah it's it's not as you know uh we gotta be careful here i know we don't empire be taunting you cause a it's on here now for the shade cone <laughs> yeah that's true man it sure is dark out here here where the shade cone i said it's dark go whoosh woman Did you live through the no walls doors run bossy bossy did you i think you live lived i think so you can be the game in all storyteller modes at five percent without no pause you have zero issues including edge cases yeah i mean it's a good way to play it's smart with play play however you want that's always my thing like literally play however you want that's always my big thing with rimworld just do whatever you want and don't let other people tell you not to you're not you're not playing wrong as long as you're having fun that's all that matters but, uh, yeah, whatever's fun for you. I'm going to play on Peaceful, you know? You want to play uh, mo super modded so it doesn't look like RimWorld? You want to play on this difficulty or mods to make it harder or easier? Whatever, whatever. Just do whatever's fun for you. You want to use kill boxes? And then you go onto Reddit and you see these people that are like, Kill boxes? You might as well just put the game on Peaceful if you're going to use a kill box. How about screw off and play how you want? We'll use them if we want to, and sometimes we don't. You have clothes that are useful against Rebellion. I haven't made them yet. No pause is it harder for playing peaceful. Keep adding more mods, can't stop. Those people, I don't, I don't understand those people, yeah. Kill boxes are not realistic. You're right. Yeah. Kill boxes are not. Hey, completely unrelated topic. You guys remember back when like medieval castles were like the 
the epicenters of defense and it was completely walled in there was only one entrance and above that entrance were murder holes and places to you know pour oil on people and whatnot and that was the only way in and the raids the only way to to bypass that was to either siege or uh, you know be sappers completely unrelated though but anyway back to what i was saying yeah kill boxes are unrealistic there's no such thing there's never been any such thing in real life randy is a vegetable in your run right now yeah he goes to sleep a lot unfortunately fine complaining on youtube about me fun <laughs> i said do whatever you think is fun in rim worlds in a game what if youtube comments is a game for me Ah, oh, okay. Pong. 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 Pong has some go juice. Pong, you selling some go juice, buddy? Sell, selling some go juice? Actually, they used hot water. They didn't want to waste their oil. You seen those where they have, uh, like, where they would jam, like, the spear weapons or stuff down as well? Crazy. There's probably not single phages in real life. Probably not. Probably not. Oh. Hey, where'd that bearskin kid's shirt come from, I wonder? No idea. It's a mystery. You might as well be using walls and doors at this point. Any ambushes or similar things? Do we use the term kill box or kill zone? How much you selling that go juice for, old man? <laughs> Come on, Volcanic Winter. I'm like just waiting for this friggin' thing to end. Yes. Calling kill box unrealistic while building growing vats. Oh, they. What? The Empire just gave us 25 golds? Like, hey, I heard your last raid was only 1,200 raid points with two melee pawns. What if what if we up that just a little bit? There's no way real people would be dumb enough to come into an, the one opening of a base all just piling in while you unload on them. Yeah, you're right. On a completely unrelated note, I was watching some stuff about Normandy, the beaches of Normandy the other day, and holy Christ. Anyway, like I said, the whole point, seriously, just play however you think is fun. Use whatever you want. It's a game. Now, if you're doing some kind of competition or, you know, you're doing a speed run, follow whatever rules there are. But aside from that, there are no rules. There are no rules. Good table. 10 out of 10. Here's a tip. That's crazy. Um, I can't believe they gave 25 gold. Which is a Normandy or a minigun kill box, yeah. So sad. Brutal. No, I let him finish the harp again. Sorry. Tank, are you converted yet? You make walls that can be taken down in an hour by one naked eight year old with an axe, though. A uh, mod that has people only attack via the coast on a beach map. That would be interesting, yeah. There are no rules. Only then you'll realize it's not the rules that bend. Sorry. Matrix. Uh, Ten-year-old child is being hunted by a pack of 43 rats. What? Why? Why do I laugh at that? Rim Rimworld has done something... Done something deep inside of me. And the first thing I I just start laughing. Like what? A ten year old's getting eaten by forty three rats. Wow. Wow. Uh, sucks for you, kid. See ya. <laughs> All right. No children allowed. Get out. All right. Anyway, what we're we talking about. They're the Pied Piper. They don't understand why it's happening. All right. 
playing tail all of a sudden. <laughs> oh yeah, rat armies used to be so crazy good. It would lag the frigging game, but they were good. All right, all right. Uh, multi analyzer. Grand Slave Rebellion. Well, great. Now you're gonna be dead. Oh, you got a Zeus hammer? I'll see how that works out for you there, boots. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you guys aren't dead. You are... Mind freeze? Are you doing... Yeah, that's what I thought, mind freeze. Grand Slave Rebellion. Mind freeze wanted no part in this. He's seen. He's seen. Did you guys lose body parts? I'm going to be a bit upset if you lost body parts. Oh my god, Blim. I'm so inconvenienced by your ensuing death. Slave revolt? More like wealth management. Boom rat army worked well until mental break caused the slaughter spree. Oh. Blim is now missing their left arm, their spine, their right leg, and a finger. Here, let me take care of that for you, Blim. Let me take care of that. How's this? Slave suppression. 100%. Are you suppressed enough, Blim? Blim, are you suppressed? <laughs> they're, they're suppressed. They're suppressed. Need mods to remove legs of a pawn. You do not. So I peg legs and removing them seems like a bit of a waste of time to you. Oh, that, yeah, that's the way you do it without mods. If you already know that way, then yeah, do it any other way you need mods. He has no spine. He's already suppressed to the max. All right, Blim. Sorry, you waited in the queue all these months. You became a slave. You rebelled, we broke your spine, and then beat you to death in your bed. But don't worry, we'll give you a proper burial. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute, that's not the burial. Here we go, let me set up the burial. Alright, Boots, if you could bury Blim. Give him an honorary melee god burial. Hey! Crystal, what the crap, man? We're trying to do a ritual here. Alright, alright, now we can go back. We can go back. Alright, alright. He's buried, he's buried. It's done. We'll give you a proper burial. Just throw him on the ground. <laughs> alright. Start the oven. Oh, man. Sorry, Blim. But he wasn't sorry. Sorry, Blim. I'm, I'm just torn up inside about that, you know? Uh, I don't know how I'm going to live with myself. Not sure. All right, so here's a trick I wanted to share as well. A lot of people don't know this. And I get asked this a bunch when they notice it. So a lot of people think that the conversion ritual goes on cooldown when you use convert. If you click on the altar, you'll see that it says conversion ritual. Uh, it's disabled. It's a three-day cooldown because we already used Convert on Christopher. However, if you do it in this order, you can use Convert and then right-click your priest on here. And then you can click Conversion Ritual and you get no downside. It, it doesn't say it's been used recently or anything like that. And you can just do it again immediately. But you have to do it in that order. You have to do Convert, like the word of Convert. And then you have to right-click the altar. Very handy for converting. 
might not end up working, but uh, as far as it might not be successful, but you can do it this way. Get more opportunities in. It was terrible. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for the example. Appreciate it. All right. What we need here? Um, we need some plasteel. We only have nine. So we need a little bit of plasteel. Psychic ship. Our first mechs. All scythers. Five scythers. Okay. Uh, psychic ship. We are psychically deaf. So the psychic ship is going to impact the slaves, but not us. We still want to take care of it, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to build wood wall. Let's see. Let's wait until this fire's over. No, I don't use that. You know, I'm glad. Uh, yeah, I'm glad some people were finding it helpful. How's it going, Tracy? No, I use very few mods. Yeah. Marriage is on. Crack and go fast boots. Crack, I got some bad news for you. Go fast boots is not on my list of ascension pawns, okay? They're they're not they're not very high on the list. All right. So, structure. One, two, three, four, five, seven. All right, construction on crack. How's it going, crack? You feeling all right? Feeling all right? I don't really care. Let's go build this. Oh, it's hammer time. How long would it take IRL for an entire in-game year to pass just on 4x with no interruptions? I'm not sure. <sighs> you got one botch. One botch. Hurry up, crack. Crack. Are you are you doing all right? Obviously not. Tantrum. Gonna smash things in his room. All right. See you did time for X speed. It's like two minutes a day. All right, there. Get out there. Lumberjack, grab the Zeus hammer. All right, let's go do this. A little risky, but I want to get it done. Let's see if this works. I've never done this. <laughs> just, to, just to be clear, I've never done this exact setup. This is just a spur of the moment. Let's see if this works. And if not, I guess the run is dead. Do your go juice. 
to your go juice. Here we go. Get in before you're surrounded. Nice. What's the best time to experiment in RimWorld? When the entire run's on the line and you're playing an actual game with like 900 people watching you live, that's when you just throw everything in and say, all right, this will either work or we'll just lose the whole friggin' run. <laughs> nice and simple, nice and simple. All right. All right, we did it. We did it. Oh, the um, the t volcanic winter just ended too. So it lasted 20 days. So like right in the middle, I guess. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, fantastic. That is over. That's over. We're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the roof. I'm reading correctly, right? I don't. See, I don't see it anymore. Okay. All right, we're going to remove the roof over this area. Turn those off. Turn that off. Leave that door open. All right. <laughs> Should be a clip. <laughs> Let me know if anyone clips it, yeah. Maybe I'll use it for like a like a YouTube short or something. All right, let's go ahead and put his other weapon back on. Uh, we need to kill on him with it so that he can uh, get a mood buff. I don't really want to kill one of our horses, but we do have a bit. We do have a bit of horses. Do we really need all those horses. Let's even, you know what? This is an uneven number of colors here, right? We have like one brown, one black, and two tan. What? Do we want people to think that we prefer tan horses? No. We're going to kill this one. Christopher, could you not... We're trying to commit murder here. All right, there we go. Oh my God. We have come a long way since mostly honorable doors to tell you what. That seems like some messed up logic. <laughs> Peter, someone stop him. Peter. That was ethical treatment. We don't want animals to be thinking they're like more superior, right? That was eth that was completely ethical. That was Yeah, that was ethical. Adam, that was not ethical. 100% ethical. The epic snow hairs. Hey, you know what our orcs need? Cat ears. Garbage. Remind you not to show up in one of my rooms and be a Super majority. No, I just wanted him to get a mood buff and we don't actually need the wealth. So the real reason I did it is he has that kill thirst weapon that gives him a mood buff on kills. And um, we don't need all the horses for the trekking that we're doing. And they're just adding wealth. So you know what to would determine all the horses need to be treated equally and just kill them all. Furry cat ears. Right. 
Oh boy, oh boy. All right. So we need a little bit more plasteel. Got yeah, 19, 19. Uh. Let's go trade for a little bit of plasteel, I guess. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, how long until one of these reset? This one resets in 14 days. It's 13. I didn't check if they had Plasteel previously, so we'll just we'll just scoot on over there. Now, I am still going to take everyone. Uh, because I want reduced wealth at home. So if we're raided while we're gone, I want there to be very low wealth here. So... We're just gonna go look for a little bit of plasteel. We we only need a small a small bit. All right. Those wealth drops in the wealth graph. Um, let's see. So these I think were all caravans. Yeah, those were all caravans. So you can see every time I go trade off wealth, every single time we have a drop like that. Are jade fences better than flowers for beauty? Uh, no, but they are permanent. Permanent. So you don't have to keep replanting them. They take no work. And in bedrooms specifically, if we were to plant flowers in here, it would ruin part of the point of having a bedroom because people would come in to, to plant flowers while others were sleeping and disturb them. They get disturbed sleep, so less upkeep and some other advantages, but less beauty as well. Yeah. All right, hit the road. So we might as well work on hospital beds while we're waiting on multi analyzer to get built. Lumberjack, home alone again. All right, Lumberjack. Let's do some uh, Macaulay Calkin business here. I need you to put on some, uh, some aftershave. Um, I need you to play some hilarious but very deadly pranks on these two gentlemen. We asked Tiny for jade floors. Yeah, it's kind of weird that you can't do jade floors. You do gold floors, you know. Missed wall so much, I'm double walling my bedrooms. Do they decrease spaciousness? Um, yes. Yeah, unless they changed it, I believe so. I think they did. I can double check in a minute, but. All right, we're looking for a little bit of plasteel. I think we need, like, what, 31 or something? Something like that. So, plasteel. 31. That's if we don't fail it. If we don't fail it. Okay, we've already looked through all this. They haven't reset yet, so let's mosey on back. Uh, exclamation run. Exclamation run, we'll tell you. There's the clip. Wait, which is the, which clip is that? Is that the, <laughs> the thumbs up strategy or something else? Oh, oh yeah, no, no worries, no worries. There's so many people that ask, so it's not, not just you. I mean, it's not me either, but it's no one. Uh, I don't have any reason to play the console, and no, for me, it would. Just, I feel like it would just be like a downgrade. Crack under the weight of heavy objects. I don't know. I don't know. I don't how thick the jade is, I suppose. Thumbs up, Thys Scythers. Thank you. Uh, if you have an array, if you throw it in Discord, so it's easier for me to grab, that would be awesome. If not, though, no worries about it.
All right. Welcome so back. now that the um, loyalty is greatly appreciated. Now that's over. I think I'm gonna start on Devil Strand. Everything else replanted. No, it's still not. This Blim was our other planter. What for plastic on the map? I I did a quick glance, but I didn't like zoom in and look around the corners, you know, around every edge, but steel is relatively rare and a lot of times it'll be buried in this area but every now and then you'll see some jutting out but i didn't i didn't fully check no wealth value of slaves slaves are worth 70 percent of their value as raid points uh i think marsh and mud becomes rich soil yeah i'm remembering right Look at that, look at that. Multi analyzer moving up in the world. How close are we to implanting genes? 38 days, 38 days. Did I win the no walls run? I did, yep. I did. So after moisture pump, we're gonna bang out fabrication. mech raid a thousand raid points we're gonna prepare for a while all right let's see what size these are okay stay inside the walls uh lumberjack grab the zeus hammer thousand raid point mech raid okay is there any benefit to using an altar uh yes yeah you get extra percentage on some things so like if we did a conversion at a ritual spot, we get less percentage on it than using an altar, yeah. So we got three scythers, three pikemen, and a lancer. Okay. All right, so now I can show you kind of how the wall thing is working. So another thing, hmm. I think I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna put these as part of the wall. He's on construction, okay. Off bed rest, please. We got extra go juice, we'll take that right before they get here. Best meal prep early game, or do you have a tutorial? Always screw that up, veggies versus meat. So what you should do is you make one simple meal and in this one you use everything that's going to deteriorate faster. So meat and animal products, turn off human meat or bug meat if you're not going to use those, but use things that are going to deteriorate first. Uh, you can, as far as the amount, take whatever your pond count is. They need two meals a day without any other additives, right? So take your pond count. Let's say you start tribal. You're going to have, you're going to need 10 meals a day. To start with, just keep two two days worth of meals. So on a tribal five person start, maybe do 20 meals and then pause until 10, right? And then you copy that, paste it again. And then this one, you turn on the vegetation, vegetarian stuff. So what that's gonna do is gonna make it so that they're using the materials that are going to spoil first. They're not overproducing so the meals won't rot. You don't need a freezer or cooler in that way. Um, the other thing I would say is for the third one, put something for overflow, either um, pack survival meals or in the case of tribals, uh, pemmican. So put like make pemmican forever as the third option. That way, if there's still leftover meat, they're going to throw that into pemmican. You can just use that later or trade it. Uh, I don't have a guide on that, but um, I should do like a quick one minute guide of what I just said, probably just throw it up somewhere. But that's the basics of it. And that will make it so you don't need a freezer or a cooler or whatnot. Rice the fastest growing crop or just best for growing time and spoil time comparatively. Rice is the fastest growing crop. Yeah, especially in the rich soil and in hydroponics. Um, rice is the fastest growing. So rice basically is safer. It comes in uh, more incrementally than like corn and stuff. 
It's well safe. It's more safe against major events because it grows so fast, but it takes more work. So the trade-off of using rice is more work time for more uh, safety, basically. Uh, corn is less work time, but, you know, so it's more work efficient. It has its own problems. All right, here comes the mechs. We're going to try to kill a thousand points of mechs with these two guys. Monster Jay, no. Okay, so I also need to go ahead and... Uh, I need to claim everything on the map. Forgot to do that. A little late now. Okay, so those mechs are going that way. These are splitting. We're going to come out here and beat this one up. It's by itself. Over Jack. Don't let that one shoot. Okay, those two are dead. We go back in. The door is shut. Need you to repair that wall. We're going to pop out, take out that Lancer while they're down here hitting those walls. Repair that. That one's down. Pop back in. They're still spread out, so we're going to take advantage of this. Jump on the Scyther. That wall's at 63. This one's at 87. Still repair there. Those two are still fighting that. Where Jack got the stun in. Okay, this isn't being attacked anymore, so we go to repair that. Come in. Those two are now on their way. That's all right. There's stacking crap out there that I claimed. Okay, come in. Easy peasy. Thousand raid points of mechs, melee only, and no kill boxes. Good genes, obviously, though. Okay, the other one's up there, so. Conversion on tank. The tank now, we are going to put them on enslave. So this is the last one left. Go ahead and uh, unforbid everything. Not a mod, you can just right click on allow and hit unforbid everything. How much HP do those things have? Holy crap. 900. <laughs> Okay, fabrication. He'll eventually make it to our walls. You just gotta keep an eye on it. Auto joiners of your xenotype? No, they're not. They are not. So we're just going to wait till it comes closer. Nice Scyther clean up junk on the map. <laughs> Thanks Scyther. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. We gotta try to find another tough pawn. 
Now they got food coming in again. I think I'm going to start doing the um, the ritual. See if we can find another tough pond because uh, it's only about two seasons, I think, and then we can actually get some new ponds. Yeah, look at that. 36 days and we can actually elevate two more ponds to uh, melee gods and we'll be up to four real ponds. We've gotten a lot of like solar flares and stuff like that this run. I think that's just Cassandra though. It's just a lot of times two minor events, two major events, two minor events, two major events. Where's the Scyther these days? I think I might run out there and kill him because I don't want him to destroy all the stuff that we want to uh, a bigger raids to end up getting locked onto. Hey. It's just one shot. Any melee god candidates? Uh, Krek is actually pretty good. They are they are tough. Um, construction melee, you know, they are a tough pawn. They're not they are pyro, so they're gonna have pyromaniac means on average once every fifty days they're gonna have a uh, extreme breakdown even if they're happy. So that's a downside, of course. But uh, yeah, Krek is pretty high on the list. Mind Freeze is actually a really good pawn, but they're not they're not tough. They are nimble though, which is also good. So small map size. This is this is 275. It's all it's what I most often use. 275 is medium. It's one of the default sizes. Uh, Killer Pig. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Killer Pig. All right, Lumberjack. We're gonna give this back to you now. And let's see what comes with these events. If anything. How close is Tank to being a... Oh, he's pretty close. Let's just wait on him. Wait on him. With him being 45, I don't know, because I'm going to eventually have everyone in Luciferium. Right? So it might not be as big of a deal in this run. Mega Sloth self tamed. Tempting, but no. Okay. Yeah, I probably will end up getting loose fear on everyone. I think I'm gonna need to. We're going to be fighting max size raids and melee only, so. They basically all have coagulators. Um, we could, we could, if we do get to in, uh, healing hands or stuff like that, we might as well use it, but their bleeds already get patched instantly. How long until you can uplift two more? Yeah, about, thir about 35 days. Yeah, thank you, York. All right, we got new drugs coming in. Nice. All right, Tank is enslaved. So, Tank, let's get you a name. Uh, Ishtar. So we got a crafting slave now. That's good. Uh, let's take Christopher. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's fine as is. Okay, so now we should be able to make that uh, that shield belt. So make shield belts, and Ishtar is gonna do that. Turn that back on. Okay, we'll turn this on now too. All right, Ishtar. Um, Fifty seal. Oh crap, I forgot. Completely forgot the shield belts needed plasteel. I also would have bought 20 more while we were out. Uh Cassandra's on cooldown. Let's just go. Let's 
Sandra is on cooldown, so we can we can just take Christopher this time. Okay. All right, hit the road. Christopher, point one days. Christopher, a horse and a road. Point one days. <laughs> Yeah, we do have some uh we do have some mechs to shred around the perimeter, so we might get a little bit from that too. There are no um There are no centipedes. I was gonna say unfortunately, but maybe fortunately. Shred mech, do forever. Drop on the floor. Yep. He's zooming. 84 tiles per day. <laughs> man, oh man. Nearum. That's not the sound a horse makes. It is this horse. This horse makes that sound, yeah. This one does. So you had to take a nap. You're only moving for 0.1 days. You're like, oh man, you gotta pull over. I pull over. I mean, to be fair, he was up the whole day before then, but, you know, still. The horse on goat shoes now. Grab, like, 40 of the plasteel. Um... Grab the one advanced component. Okay. She's just like back home instantly. Move to the ship for in-game for a change. We could with all the melee people, yeah. Might be interesting, depending on what kind of tile the ship is on. Let's see. Uh, that's going to be a no-go, yeah. Our genes make us more susceptible to um, temperature. And it's it's almost at the North Pole. So, yeah, we're not we're not going to the ship this, this game. Look <laughs> at the, <laughs> the friggin' North Pole. Um, Royal Inning or Ship Launch? Probably Ship Launch. Probably. Let's go get Santa's escape ship ready. <laughs> Bears or caravan animals, they'd be perfect. Bears are very good already, yeah, but... I would definitely, uh... would definitely make them crazy. All right, Ishtar, make a good one. Crap. I thought I had him get all of them. Well, that's annoying. Um. So I'm gonna have to build a little, little stable or else it'll be I'll get the message that's wandering around like that forever, pretty much, so. Perfect. Can't imagine they need any more space than that, right? How, how much space can a horse need? Uh, more than that. can't form a caravan on a single tile island it wasn't it won't even let you form it new caravan escape if it gets intercepted uh no you have to fight 
Max and a Persona Zeus Hammer. It's a really hard question to answer because the Monosaur generally does more damage, but the Zeus Hammer is going to stun. So, yeah, it just it just depends. Like, it's good to have some Zeus Hammers. If you're in like a one on one scenario, the Zeus Hammer is probably going to be better because you're going to stun them a lot of the time and then you don't have to worry about taking as much incoming damage. Of course, killing them faster also means less incoming damage. So that's why it gets pretty complex. I would say if you're having more than one pawn, having a mix is a good is a good idea. Uh, Met Cluster 3x size of a 3 star. I think friggin not. I, I don't think you could give me anything that would allow that would make me even think about doing that on this run right now. <laughs> Yes, it's blunt damage, but you can test it. The Monosword has much more armor pin, but that's basically what it boils down to. They're both really good for different reasons. So, answer really is it depends. Just depends. Uh... Hey, Ishtar. Take that off. It's not for you. Okay, our melee gods have shield belts. Nice. Nice. Sir says you can use contingent upon. It's contingent upon. Yeah, that works. What's my plan for sieges? Rush them and hope for the best. That doesn't seem like a good plan. Nope. Nope. We can't use mortars, so. A mix is the best option, yeah, overall, because. <laughs> with the 69 bits. Thank you, Binoc. Very much appreciated. All right. Let's do some of these festivals. Uh, we are looking for a tough pawn. Um, construction would be nice. The planter would be nice. See what we get if we get anything. Last day of the Samurai. Still the same run from yesterday? It is, yep. Yep, we almost lost several times yesterday, but we we didn't. Hey, Wanderer, Patricia. Nimble Quick Sleeper, 63. Okay. Um, do we want to convert her for points, maybe, though? Maybe. Uh, let's arrest her, and then we'll decide. Yoink. Okay. Oh, she's a... Yeah, she's already converted. I don't know why it's that. I, what I meant to say was, do we want to keep her for points um, if we get an aesthetic? But I don't know. Let's just see what else we get. Uh, exclamation. Uh, we're fluid right now. Yeah. I think exclamation memes a setup, but it has what we have planned, but I don't have them all yet. All right, let's do another one. Is a dad a vampire? He is, yeah. We use them for medical practice, medical malpractice. Terrible, do it again. You will celebrate until we have a wondrous festival or until we're out of wood. Whichever one comes first. Uh, Fisher, Fisher. Hmm. 
Fish here in another run, man. You would be... You would be a colonist. Another run, different life. Not in this one. Star, you can go grab those. Certain number of points. Yes, with fluid. Yep. 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 Which we are at already. So once you do things towards like ideology stuff, let's just call it like good festivals, you'll get reform points. And every time you reform, it goes up two more. And then you can you can change and add stuff. That clothes you keep. Yeah, maybe. Not good stuff, you know. Maybe better than being naked. Although we're going to have cotton coming soon. What's plan for future memes? It's in that command, explanation memes command. But um, the next big one is human primacy. And we need to find a good crafter that's going to be a colonist. But I'd love to get a tough pawn that has good craft or just a passion. They don't even have any good at it yet. Just a tough pawn with a passion in crafting would be ideal. But uh, we don't have one yet. Or am I keeping weapons so they're away from slaves? I'm not. We only have a couple of weapons that we're not using. Weapons that we don't use, we either sell or we smelt. We're not doing anything special with them. Unimpressive. All right. Again. I should let you guys eat. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Good rituals. Conversions. Yeah. Yeah, there used to be even more stuff that gave you um, conversion points, but they they changed some of them, unfortunately. Although it could get pretty easy to get points maxed. Executions have to be like spectacular to get points now. That's one of the ones they changed. It used to be really easy, like. Um, the sacrifice ritual, I should say. Executions no longer get points. It still says it does, but it does not. They changed it. It was even in a patch note that they... But they didn't change it where it says that. But if you have, like, a prisoner that's just in bed and you just set them to execute and they go and slice them, you get no reform points. Spies on me for hot... Fix ideas. Yeah, it was really crazy with executions because you should just like blast through. <laughs> They're gathering up over at this place we built. Tortured audit artist. Slow learner, man. That sucks. I don't want any of you guys, I don't think. All right, we're going to reform so we can do more of these festivals. Um, Let's Yeah, let's. How much wood do we have? We got plenty. Okay, we're at our reform point, so we're going to hit reform. And we are going to add in human primacy. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get human primacy. Let's see, drug essential, slavery honorable. Uh, all this should stay the same. So now we're going to remove all... Whoops. We're going to remove all of our festivals. So the reason I'm doing this is if you remove them and then re-add them when you redo your ideology, it resets the, school, the cooldown. So we're going to add six Sky Lanterns. The reason I'm doing Sky Lantern is because they don't need room impressiveness. And right now I'm staying low wealth and therefore low room uh, quality. We're going to set all six of them to random recruit. Random recruit. Okay. Altar is still good. All right. Uh, oh, I need to add um, drug specialist. There we go. All right. 
A smoke leaf circle. I do not want any um, consciousness hit. No. <laughs> I forget the roll. Yeah. Thank you. I almost did forget. All right. So now we can do those again. Yeah, let's just do them. Pull down, reset when you do that. Yeah, as long as you uh, re-add them, man. Yeah. What? Come on, guys. What? What is this? This would be such a good gift on a normal run. They just show up and give us EMP grenades. We can't use them. We can't use them. Uh, we can sell them. Uh, second drone, medium on females. Doing these. They know they're just rubbing salt in the wounds. Anyone wants uh, 23 eggs? 23 eggs, anyone? With the egg prices right now, that's like, it's like golds. They're trying to seduce. Join the ballistic side. Unimpressive. Oh my god. We're getting real unlucky. Real unlucky. Egg. Going Ed. Some dollars in your hand. Getting some uh day inside of Bob flashes. Egg price is a national thing, yeah. Eggs have gone here from being like a little over a, a little over a dollar to being like six dollars a dozen, and that was the last time I was at the store. Next time it's probably be up gonna be up more. <sighs> Slave rebellion likely. Yeah. Remember what happened last time? Slave rebellion. Remember what happened? It's exorbitant price. It is. Sadistic rage. Eat the king of fortune. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't want any of that, so. See ya. Guys, got a broken spine, missing two limbs. Let's try it again. I mean, that guy can't warn them because he's dead. But, you know. Can artist pause meditate for psi levels? And if so, what item is needed? Um... I don't, I don't think they can meditate at art for, wait, for psi levels, no. Um, so basically, I have a guide, if you go to Exclamation Anima, that talks about natural meditation and the anima tree, and it's short, it has timestamps, so if you want more details, just go to that guide, Exclamation Anima, or on YouTube, search for, um, anima tree guide, or something like that. Basically, if you go in here, you'll see your meditation focus types. Meditation focus type has to be natural, it can't be artistic. I mean, you can have multiple focus types if you want, but to actually get side casting levels, you have to have natural meditation uh, for meditating at the tree, at the anima tree, in order to get side casting levels. You can still get side casting levels through the empire uh, without being natural meditation, but for other pawns and to use the anima tree, you have to have natural meditation, which is basically tribal background. 
Someone goes over natural. Yeah, that's because that's because it's the only one that gets psi levels through meditation. So if you don't, if you don't do what about psi trainers? You can use psi trainers to level up, but they're not going to they're not gonna gain additional levels by meditating. So the psi level doesn't go up. You mean the psi focus percent? Like you can have them meditate for psi focus, but they're not gonna get um no, 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 that's not the right one. Especially the anime, but they're not going to level up from it. So they're going to need to do um, Empire stuff or get more Neuroformers. Tinfoil hats dampen your psychic sensitivity. Yeah, yeah, they're nice to have around. Uh, I'm actually going to uninstall these for now. We don't need the extra power because they're not using the sun lamp. Well, yeah, of course there's mods that change all that. There's mods that change everything, but. Are babies of tribal people supposed to always have artistic focus? It's all a mod. Do you mean natural focus? They changed it. So that was that was something that they, they changed. So I, there was a patch a few weeks ago or whatever that um, where they were like, oh, we're going to make some things interact more between expansions. So now the offspring of tribal parents will have natural meditation. Yeah. So it wasn't like that when biotech first came out, but there was a patch now that's changed it. So you don't need a mod for that anymore. As long as the parents have natural meditation, they have a baby, but have natural meditation too. I think someone was saying that there's lost it while it was uh, in the, um, There's lost it when it was in the vat, but I haven't tested that. So. Rope those animals up. They're eating too much of our stuff. All right, let's try this again. Three more chances here. Yes, natural meditation people can level up the tree without a mod, yeah. Non-natural meditation can't level up the tree without a mod. This is one reason why I, like in all my guides and everything, I try my best to always make sure it's, I explain it as no mods. And usually when I answer a question in chat, because I don't really use mods, I answer it baseline, no mods. Of course, the answer always changes if you are using mods. There's a mod for everything. Are mono swords or plaza swords stronger? Mono swords are better than plaza swords. Plaza swords have some pretty big problems. Now, plaza swords can be used for things like melee hunting, because it sets them on fire. The problem with plaza swords is when something is set on fire, they no longer have collision. And not having collision for melee is, is not a good thing. So the answer as usual is it depends, but in general, I do not use plaza swords because they cause more trouble or problems than they solve. Roman animals, mining construction. Ugh. Not getting what we want here. With plaza swords, use burn tunnels. I could, yeah, I could, uh, I could just attack a piece of furniture or something. Yeah. yeah, I'm not planning on using burn tunnels in this run, but I could technically use them as melee. Uh, in, in a couple different ways, yeah. yeah. Start fire without projectiles that way, yeah. Yeah. Um... out of the way. 
Let's see. If I can get a fabrication bench down before we run ourselves out of material on the map, and then we are good. We're good for material forever. I'll explain that a little bit and what I mean by that once we have that built. But it is a huge, huge milestone in any run, and we have basically sprinted to get to it. So, very nice. Very nice. Why am I getting so many prisoners? Because you can do vaccination run, but basically, I cannot use them as colonists. Because of the nature of this run, I cannot use them as colonists. So, if I don't want them as slaves either, then I arrest them and either sacrifice them, kill them, or trade them. But Exception Run will explain the details of the run more. But right now, I'm only allowed to have two real colonists. Two real colonists. I don't want bugs to spawn in here, so I am going to wall this after we get it done. Mind freeze, you're going to have to help on uh, planting. Ishtar, I think you're going to as well. Slave run? No, Your not exactly. Loyalty is greatly like, literally just read Exclamation Run. It's, it's, it's posted like four times in a row right above your message. So, watch run, you're just sitting there. Doors not block insect spawns. I think they do too, yeah, but it's more material, right? So. Ah, uh, so Confucius. Give the six months. Thank you, Confucius. Much appreciated. Another gift. Black pants. Definitely better than what we're wearing, even though they're not great. Great. All right, we'll take it. Take it. Thank you, E3. Seventy-three years old. You're lucky. If you're like seventeen. You'd be kidnapped. Kind of tempting too. I mean, his choice of hats. <laughs> Those horns sticking out as well. It somehow sits behind the horns, or maybe the horns are coming through. I guess. Go on, hairball. I get things replanted. Uh, let's turn sewing off on that. Oh my god, it's not a good quote, Mage. <laughs> Like, hey, you said it. Uh, yeah, but still. But still. All right, go again. I'm not the one who said it. Is it ancient danger more likely for a bug spawn? Yes, but it is not a hundred percent. It's it's not because it's an ancient danger, but it's because it's other factors. But but yeah, it's more likely than this, but it's not a guarantee. And I don't want bugs spawning in here right now. That raids that show up and you play a game of ball. <laughs> Like what? Like against Prince? That kind of ball? Like Prince in the Revolution. What happens is they win. They serve you pancakes. 
Oh my god, that really sucks. A lot of people in chat are like, what? Uh, don't worry, it's just like a 20-year-old skit. Just look up Prince and Charlie Murphy. Um... Episode was so good. That's, that's probably my favorite one, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about the Rick James thing last night. It's weird how often these things come up. Yes! Sunblocker! Off map Sunblocker! Shoot the J! We got it! We got it! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. All right. Why is that so good? Uh, we can now go into darkness precept and meme and we can get extra dodge and we cannot, we can't get any other off map problem causers. None, none. So we don't have to worry about any really bad ones off map. And now we're going to have extra dodge forever. Uh, and it's going to get rid of our need or our, uh, problem with, um, uh, the minus 12 from our sun gene. Now, now we got to get switched over to, um, we got to get this turn back on and we got to get things settled. I might actually go tunneler. I actually go tunneler. I might switch one of these over. Like we might switch human privacy over to tunneler to, for a while. Maybe for good. Uh, all right. So we got some work to do now. I can't believe we just got that though. We were just talking about that. We we're just talking about that earlier. And someone was like, how rare is it? And I was like, it can be pretty rare. It can be pretty rare. All right, that installed. Okay, sun lamp on. Now we are low on food, so this is a little bit scary in that regard, but. Okay. Annoying scavengers trying to eat my food. Well, we are in a box with no opening, so good luck scavengers. Good luck. Oh man, I can't believe we got it. Can't believe we got it. That's such a huge thing for this run. As long as we can survive getting transitioned. Get why with the circle fire and bothers you. Uh, okay. So... How, how close are we? We just reformed. Oh my god, that sucks. Man, oh man, if we had not reformed... Can we farm mushrooms outside now? Our people don't like mushrooms. So we technically can, but... Watch the anime tree video? Thank you, thank you for watching that. Glad it helps. Okay, uh, let's do sacrifices on these, see if we get any points. Okay. We got some. How much reduction does that give us? 0% quality. Okay. All right. But it wasn't, it wasn't spectacular, so we didn't get any points. So we're not going to be able to get any more points on this until 15 days. Okay. Is your goal to survive or to escape the planet? Escape the planet. See the credits. That's always the goal. Yep. Always the goal is to see the credits. Okay, what do we need for this? Just uh, finish making that. More steel, okay.
for those plants. Four for three. Oh my god, it's almost four. Uh, whatever. What do you want to do? Dark-eyed geology colony and a sunblock appeared. Only had one... Or only had solar panels. Destroy it. Good freeze to death. Ouch. All right, you're missing a hand. Yeah. Indoor campfire as well. It's hard to hard to grow wood with no with no sun as well. But yeah, it just depends on what was going on in their run. I've definitely been there where it's like, oh my god, I can't get any wood. No, when to start getting dinner ready. Uh, let me see what the recording is at. Um, yeah, yeah, 4.30, we good. What should we have for dinner game? No, it's what time should we have dinner game. Yeah, so 4.30 is good. For dinner, some kind of ground pork and pasta, something or another. All right, fabrication is done. Unreal. Turn that off. Sad wander. Hey. Okay. So are we going to need you on growing as well temporarily? All right. Horses eat mushrooms? Yes, they will. They will. But right now, I need to get enough food planned for us. Like, we're not even... We have no food growing for us, really, right now. So, don't have time to plant for the... And another problem is we also have to get uh, drugs growing because we'll die without them. So, we have to also worry about that. You didn't plant your xenotype to an established germline like a waster? I don't know what you mean. Uh, we're on unstable branch. So on a stable branch, it's fixed. So on unstable, when you give your genes, it completely overrides theirs with yours. It turns them. It's almost like when you do the single phase thing. So if we if we do the gene transfer, uh, the implant genes into this waster, he immediately becomes ours and doesn't have any of the waster genes. So that's... Um, I don't know when that patch is going to come over to live, but if you want to play like that now, go right click on RimWorld, go into its properties, go to betas, click on that in the drop down, go down to unstable. So this patch is currently on unstable, which allows you to do that. Pretty big booty, and it plays a big role in where we decide to vacation and stuff. I'm not super picky about food, and I like a lot of food. Obviously, I would like to eat good food, but. Yeah, I don't know. We eat a big variety. It's not like... I don't eat a big variety for breakfast. We eat a big variety for, like, dinner. I guess I should say. It doesn't work like that anymore on the on the on this branch. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Lumberjack was a different... Lumberjack was a genie. Okay? But, because we're on the unstable branch, and that's how the patch is now, when we did the implant gene... They didn't get none of the none of it's left. No genie stuff is left at all. They literally just got our entire Xenogene. That's it. So same thing will happen here. Um, should happen here. Like, you see, he doesn't have any remnants of genies left at all. So, but to have this happen, you have to be on the test branch. I think it should overwrite, right? I think we tested on Sunday. There's a break. That's not good. We did an entire test stream to make sure it was working on the beta or on the test branch. 
in that way and it, it seemed to but i guess we'll find out but we tested on this previous sunday on the on the unstable it's called i keep calling it test branch or whatever but i know there's a difference between germline and xenotype and that's how it works in the in the live game at the moment but now on unstable it just re literally just replaces everything it just completely overrides if you don't check mark heritable if you check mark heritable in your custom xenotype then it's it does what you're talking about what only on unstable because we wanted to make sure i didn't need a mod for that before i started the run so we tested all that on sunday stream vod's still there if you want to see the testing that's how it was working when we tested it on unstable branch on sunday um if you don't check mark heritable it overwrites completely if you check mark heritable for some reason even like gene implants will do what you're talking about how it works on live i'm not sure why but that's how it was working on sunday so i sure hope that's still how it's working <laughs> not we're gonna uh, check the bond yeah yeah it was uh it was interesting i mean if you want to test it on unstable and it's working differently let me know and i'll go see if there's any more unstable updates because maybe that was a bug but yeah that's how we had it working anyway um all right so i'm thinking you save on you know what we want to dry this out too it's gonna take a long time I should probably just get started on it So, structure, do bridge like there, 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 there. Yeah, yeah I, I, I always thought it was, uh, it was not great how it was working before, so I was happy with the test. Um, I don't know why. I'm, I'm so used to saying beta branch, test branch. But anyway, unstable. Just doing it. I think the separation of xenotype and xeno germ or germline and xeno germ can be useful, but usually it's annoying. Yeah. that done really need someone that's like i need blame i need blame the genes blue hexagon so having it inheritable germline means it's looking for blue hexagon genes or the xeno genes but it can find any you think yeah it's really weird But it could also be that all these are getting overwritten. Because we actually have this and this and this. And we have the worst unattractive one. You know, and when we have all kinds of body parts, we have this. Uh, we have almost all this. We're just missing the cooking one. We have this. So, I don't know. I guess we'll we'll find out when we do, do this. It might end up that he has everything... Uh, that we already have set up, but he also needs to wake up. That's the only thing I can see that would be different anyway, but. Was that on the unstable? So that's what I'm saying. Like the unstable branch, all that gene stuff and the transferring, that's one of the big things on the unstable branch at the moment where it doesn't work like it does on live anymore. That's why I'm doing this whole playthrough on it because we were... On Sunday, we were going back and forth between Unstable Branch and Live and testing the difference. And that was one of the main things that was uh, changing between them. So, yeah, that's that's why I'm on Unstable right now on this playthrough. But 
Okay, we're gonna just delete these for now because they can't grow outside anyway. You're on normal as well? Yeah. yeah, I know that's how it works on normal. Mind freeze, just come do these, please. Price had changes that will be live eventually. Yeah, if they're, yeah, not always. They don't always go over, but yeah, it's basically where they test them and make sure they're working how they want them to work. And, you know, sometimes the things get taken out of there, changed in there, but. Add sun blocker. We still have to have a roof to grow mushrooms. Wonder why. Yeah, I don't know why. That's kind of weird. I ran into that with our, um, our first ideology run. Um, I'm not sure where all you can see the unstable branch information. I saw it on the um, developer Discord. They posted on there. I'm guessing it's got to show it on Steam somewhere, right? Well, our food situation's pretty grim. How many sunlamps can I afford it right now? Like one. <laughs> yeah, that's the only place I know too is the developer Discord, but. Waterproof can't go through mud right now. So you can't put normal power conduit or waterproof conduit on mud currently on this. All right. I'm annoying. The unstable patch is on Steam's page news hub too. I thought that was the stuff where they linked expansions, not this one, but. Well, yeah, you need a bridge. You can do it on top of a bridge, but you don't need a bridge for the waterproof one through water. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird. You run conduit through, yeah, you can do it on a bridge. Yeah. Did mushrooms get nerfed? You remember planting them in a dark room outside a mountain? No, you can still plant them in a dark roof or a dark room outside a mountain. You can actually just plant them literally under a, um, um, under a roof outside. Yeah. We're not going to be able to grow wood anymore, so I'm trying to be safe about wood, but. Red dies. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's why I set a bunch of trees to cut. Yeah, we don't have a lot of people that are working on it, so. Exactly why I set all those trees to cut. We didn't get too lucky on those joint events. Are any of these sacrifices good at planting? I might keep them temporarily. No, they're not. They're not. Hey, you don't even need walls. I used it in the dwarf run, yeah. I used uh, like a couple of columns. I put a roof, as much roof as I could, and I just grew mushrooms right under it. Might end up having to go the route with this, even though our people are going to have a mood hit from the mushrooms. We might just have to suck it up and deal with it. There's always money in the fiber corn stands. <laughs> Thought I turn sewing off.
All right. Uh, how are we doing on opponents? We're down to two. Okay. Ah, uh, you can finish it. Mind freeze. You don't really need food. Drop pod toxic raid right in the middle of your base. Ouch. Yeah, usually you don't run into that problem very much, especially with uh, tribal. A lot of tribals are tribal backgrounds have good planting, so it's easy to get a lot of planting with uh, join events from like the ritual joins and stuff. But Get those working for us. Cassandra will be hitting us again here soon, I imagine. She only rolled one that time. All right, so we, we got a little time still. Because the problem causer was her major event this time. High life missing. Suck it up. Slaves don't get drugs. All right, let's look around. We can make our own components, but there was some in that little hill there. Hey, there was 17 plastic in there. What do you know? What do you know? What do you know? Slaves live the dry life. That's right. In more ways than one, whatever that means. Can't be expected to know what I'm talking about. Mm. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. How many people are we feeding? We got to get rid of these sacrifices. Screw it. Minus one mood for it being awkward. All right, well. I keep hitting the bed. <laughs> Who's going to win first? No way they're still alive. That out. Well, I guess we can finish them off with them. I was thinking like I didn't want them to see them die, but I guess it doesn't matter. Slave Rebellion likely. These mushrooms, or not mushrooms, uh, berries before they all die as well. Uh, playlist? I don't, I don't have anything like that. If you're looking for the music, it's a mod. It's called P Music. That's P as in pterodactyl music. It's just extra rimworld music. Um, let's turn one of these off for now. Turn that back off. Turn that back off. A mod for music? Water joins. Relationship. Uh, Lumberjack's brother, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Hey! A little violence. But, uh, we could, add, we could enslave them and have them... Do playing... Probably not going to. Probably not. Sorry, Lumberjack, we're going to enslave your brother. He wasn't sorry. All right. Uh, can we just give them his gifts? Not for honor, but just for rep. Just to get him out of here. I think we can do that. Let's do that really quick.
Uh, it's not much further. Just go to this one. When is when is it reset? It has already reset. Okay. All right, Christopher, take the horses. Uh, take the two prisoners that can walk. Plain leather, camel hide, blue fur. Be a little careful with the psychite tea. It's gonna be a little while before we can grow more, but. Okay. All right, hit the road, Christopher. PS pterodactyl. The PS silent. That's right. Yeah. Super funny. All right, let's get him out. Get him out. Vegan cannibal. Oh no, not that conversation again. <laughs> yeah, sleeper building. Did they not see what happened to the other one? All right, hopefully we can get back before Cassandra hits. Also, I have a bad time. Awful barracks. You're lucky you're not sleeping outside. Uh, we need some components. Hey, they're paying pretty good money for those sacrifices. Nice. All right. Uh, do you guys have any armor? Uh, good ones. Uh, any good trainers? Only side casting. Anything, anything else I want right now? Maybe helmets. All right, components it is. Uh, yeah, screw it. We'll get all this. All right, come on back. Should be grateful to get to do stuff all day instead of just sitting in a room. Like a dad all alone, he's sleeping for eternity. They wish they could sleep that long. Airvan is back. Not leave the horses this time, please. Plan to ever make go juice, just buy it. Uh, I've been making it already, yeah. Yeah, we've been making our own for a while now. We got all of that set up, but uh, we can no longer grow our own Psychite right now because of the sun blocker. So we might end up getting a situation where we do have to buy more. But for now, we're still able to grow some because we have some. Uh... Actually, I think we're out of leaves. We have three leaves, so. And they got two go juice on them. So we have 24 go juice, which is. It's good for almost 100 days, so. Yeah, we have the drug lab. We have our own uh, go juice production going. Yep, yep. All right, need to mine that. Seal's done here. Even though it's more likely for insects to spawn here, I'd rather not have to worry about it at all. So. I know you can checkerboard it, but I'm... Can't be bothered. Only had one or two, and it was having a massive gojus problem. How do we get out of that? Um, We took every single thing from two different ancient dangers, gave it to some pigs to make them no longer hostile 
and we traded with him for 16 go juice uh it's only every every five so oh yeah i forgot we have it on two pawns my bad i was doing it by one but anyway uh we have them set to take every five days We are not going to need wood for super long. I'm going to change the ritual. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one. Stone is replenishable, though. But yeah, I was, I was only adding up for one pawn. Sorry, Lumberjack. I remember that you exist. Don't worry about it. Plague on go fast boots and crack. Okay. Switch crack over to medicine. Boots over to medicine. Uh, which one's more important? Cooking and plants. This one's tough though. I actually think plants is probably more important right now. Uh, boots. We're gonna reach health on you. We go we got doctor on the case good luck yeah you can checkerboard it and they still won't spawn ishtar insulting spree holy crap All right. He ripped off one of his one of his toes. All right. All right. Good enough. Okay, those are good. I would like to grab some hydroponics very, very soon. Uh, how much power do we have? A couple more batteries we could probably be fine on hydroponics. And we have the Toxifier generators that we can do soon. We can do it anytime we want, really, but... All the old slaves, those were just uh, wealth management. <laughs> those were prisoners. We sold them into slavery, though. They're at a... Uh... We're at a farm upstate. Oh, we actually sold them. To the pig people, I think. Those are now the pig people slaves. They are no longer slaves. Well, they're slaves somewhere. Alright, 2949, they are dominating the plague. Plague's actually winning on them with Preach Health. So, we need you to no longer do doctoring. You need to stay put. Oh, that's interesting. No path. Interesting. Okay. Hopefully that catches up. It should with the uh, reach health. I think. I think it should. Almost Cassandra o'clock again. Cozy Rimworld streams sometimes. So. A wimp. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I saw no one. Hey, mind freeze. You keep working. Yeah, you, you got plenty more work in you.
Grand Thrumbos? <laughs> uh... No, no, that's a bad idea. We have two melee guys. 1900 channel points away from VIP. fight them it's just it's a two on two it's it's an even even combat um fair fight uh no i just don't i just don't feel like it yeah i would i would we would surely win through all throw so they started death no they changed it they'll break through walls this is cassandra I wanted a harder run this time than the last one. Well, I mean, than the last immediate run that we did, not the last melee run. So Cassandra ensures we're going to have to fight raids. I never tested the God Melee Pawns versus Thrumbo. No, I did not. I did not test that on Sunday. <laughs> no, that one I didn't. Man hunting Thrumbo win. <laughs> visitors. A lot of visitors. A lot of visitors. What you trading, little pig? As you were. Six pawns. Excuse me, these aren't pawns. These aren't real people. These are wannabes. Servants to the melee gods. Semi people. Rumbo backup. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Imagine those guys getting us getting friendly fired by them. Send them to the thrombo. Okay. Hey guys, come down here. Five, yeah, five. It's uncomfortable in many ways, saying little pig. <laughs> So we are going to need... Let's just go ahead and do the talks. Let's see. Toxic generator. I think I'm going to put them at the edge for now. And then we can just let the stuff rot there. Obviously, that means we have to make a longer power setup, but. Actually, I don't want it touching the edge. Because I need to be able to. Yeah, that should be fine. Wielding a mortar barrel as a melee weapon? I mean, you can wield a beard, a log. You should be able to use the mortar barrel. That was supposed to be starving soon. Yeah, they have a little bit more. Just a little bit. So it's inside our walls. <laughs> Save me! I'm literally inside your house! Mm -hmm. 
That's a song from Blue's Clue stuck in your head. <laughs> Not too good for the game, or can you still lose when I play? I can still lose, yeah. I almost lost yesterday twice. Lose anything when there's pollution? I haven't tested, yeah. I tested. I imagine if yeah, I imagine not, but I haven't tested it, so. I guess we're gonna find out this run. If so, I guess we'll be doing toxic potatoes. Toxitators. No, I definitely still lose. I almost lost twice yesterday, so. <laughs> Depends on how careful I'm being though, you know? But we could absolutely lose this run. 100%. Especially with all the modifier things that we're doing. All right. Looking good on power now. So as more steel comes in, we'll add some more hydroponics. We want to add to the places that aren't rich soil first. Hydroponics are way more efficient than even rich soil. If anyone's wondering. How much longer until I can make two more? 19 days, 19 days. Hopefully we get some good candidates from the uh, joint event. If not... Then we might raise Krek and maybe mind freeze and then that's going to double our needed drug amount you know so it's a, a scary thing uh cooking plants is good medical obviously but we might sacrifice him i have not decided yet as i name him sacrifice All right, um. Yeah, we'll see. Let's cool down on this 11 days. Detailers back for this one. Uh, it doesn't matter. We, we had that happen in the, um, dwarf run and the gene overwrites it for just that, um, that gene or whatever but i wouldn't make them a real pawn either way but yeah it doesn't matter and we're on the like razor's edge of food production to be quite honest here genetics you can type exclusion genes if you want uh to see all of it All right, well, it is that time. We made a lot of progress today. Made a lot of progress. Had some good fights. We got a sunblocker. Amazing. Amazing we got a sunblocker. Uh, but I'm going to wrap things up right before Cassandra hits us. Right before Cassandra hits us, so...